Picture yourself on the edge of a cosmic shoreline, gazing out at the endless dark ocean of space that stretches beyond imagination. You scribble a message, seal it in a bottle, and cast it into the infinite waves, uncertain of who might discover it or when. This is the tale of Voyager 1, our own message in a bottle, a tiny envoy from our fragile blue planet. Since its launch in 1977, Voyager 1 has ventured farther than anything else built by human hands. It's a trailblazer, journeying into the unknown, carrying the aspirations and dreams of those who dared to reach for the stars. Voyager 1 is more than just a machine, it's our eyes and ears in the silent void between the stars. It has witnessed marvels, giant planets, mysterious moons, and the very edge of our solar system. The data it beams back is a chronicle, a record of our cosmic neighborhood and the vast unknown beyond. Each faint transmission is another chapter in this journey transforming how we see the universe, and this journey is far from finished. Even now, Voyager 1 presses on in silence, a solitary guardian gliding through the Milky Way. It has witnessed sights we may never see and listened to the faint whispers of our galaxy. What Voyager 1 has discovered shows us that this is not the conclusion, but the start of a much grander story, a story that binds all of humanity to the universe itself. So what exactly is this explorer? Voyager 1 is a robotic space probe, a marvel of engineering from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Its mission, a grand tour of Jupiter and Saturn, made possible by a rare planetary alignment. Using gravity assists, Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were built for an interstellar marathon. Powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, a nuclear battery, it could operate far from the sun, where solar panels are useless. The mission was born from the spirit of exploration that defined the space race. The team, led by visionaries like Carl Sagan, knew Voyager would eventually leave our solar system and drift for billions of years. So, they attached a message, a greeting card from Earth, just in case someone, or something, ever found it. Packed with cameras, magnetometers, and plasma detectors, Voyager 1 was a science lab hurtling through space. Every component was built with redundancy because, once it left Earth, it was truly on its own. This little spacecraft is a testament to human ingenuity and our unyielding desire to know what's out there. Voyager 1 is our remote presence, experiencing alien worlds on our behalf. Voyager 1's journey began with a spectacular tour of the gas giants. In 1979 it reached Jupiter, sending back stunning images of swirling storms in the Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth. The real surprises were Jupiter's moons, Io, the most volcanically active body in the solar system, and Europa, with its icy surface hinting at a hidden ocean. After Jupiter, Voyager 1 set its sights on Saturn, arriving in 1980. Voyager revealed Saturn's rings in exquisite detail, a complex system of thousands of ringlets shaped by tiny moons. It also studied Titan, Saturn's giant moon, discovering its thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. This grand tour was more than sightseeing. It fundamentally changed our view of the solar system. We learned our solar system is dynamic, diverse, and filled with worlds that defy expectations. The data from Jupiter and Saturn alone made Voyager a monumental success. But its journey was just beginning. Using Saturn's gravity, Voyager 1 angled out of the plane of the planets, heading toward the stars. It left the familiar behind, venturing into the unknown. The adventure was far from over. After Saturn, Voyager 1 began its long trek toward the edge of the solar system, sailing through the heliosphere, a giant magnetic bubble blown by our sun. The heliosphere protects us from harsh interstellar radiation, but Voyager's next mission was to cross its boundary, the heliopause. The heliopause is where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. For years, scientists debated where this invisible frontier lay. As Voyager traveled farther, it detected changes. The solar wind slowed, and the galaxy's influence grew. It entered the heliosheath, a turbulent region where the solar wind piles up against the interstellar medium. In 2012, data showed a dramatic shift. Solar particles dropped, galactic cosmic rays surged. Voyager had crossed the heliopause. After 35 years, it exited the solar system and became an interstellar traveler. It had touched the void. This was a milestone in human exploration. Voyager 1 was now our scout in the true wilderness of space. The sun's domain was behind it. The galaxy awaited. Confirming Voyager 1's entry into interstellar space wasn't simple. There's no signpost out there. Scientists became cosmic detectives, piecing together clues from faint signals. The first clue, a sudden drop in solar particles and a surge in galactic cosmic rays, but they needed definitive proof. The key was measuring plasma density. 
predicted to be much higher in interstellar space. Voyager's plasma sensor had failed decades earlier, but the team found a workaround. They used the plasma wave system, waiting for a solar eruption to send a shock wave out to Voyager. When the wave reached Voyager it made the plasma ring, allowing scientists to measure its density. In 2013 the spacecraft detected the hum of interstellar plasma. The density matched predictions, about 80 times greater than inside the heliosphere. This was the smoking gun. Voyager 1 was no longer in our solar system. It was flying through the stuff of the stars, the case was closed. Humanity had a probe in interstellar space. Now in interstellar space, Voyager 1 is our only direct source of information about this mysterious region. Its messages, traveling nearly a day at light speed, are painting a new picture of the galactic environment. Voyager found the heliopause is a complex, dynamic interface, not a simple wall. The galaxy's magnetic field is stronger than expected, draped around our heliosphere. Voyager is mapping the cosmic weather at the edge of our home. It's also giving us our first unfiltered taste of galactic cosmic rays crucial for future human spaceflight. Most poetic of all, Voyager's plasma wave system detects the persistent hum of interstellar gas. For the first time, we're hearing the faint, ambient sound of the Milky Way. Space is not empty but filled with a tenuous sea of particles. Beyond science, Voyager 1 carries the golden record, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc. Conceived by Carl Sagan's team, it's humanity's ultimate message in a bottle. The record contains 115 images, greetings in 55 languages, and a rich tapestry of earth sounds, from a baby's cry to whale songs. It also features 90 minutes of music, from Bach and Beethoven, to Chuck Berry, and traditional songs from around the world. The cover is etched with diagrams explaining how to play it and a map pointing back to our sun. The golden record is a time capsule, a visual and auditory love letter to earth. It's a gesture of hope, a belief that life and art can be shared across the cosmos. Voyager carries our story waiting for someone someday to find it. Today, Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles from home, plunging deeper into the Milky Way. Its instruments are slowly being powered down, but its mission continues. Soon, its voice will go silent, but its journey will not end. Voyager will drift for thousands of years, passing near another star in 40,000 years. It has changed our perspective shown us the grandeur of the outer planets and given us our first taste of interstellar space. Voyager 1 is proof that humanity can build machines that last for generations. It is a symbol of our desire to explore, to learn, and to reach out. Its legacy is both scientific and cultural, a silent ambassador carrying the golden record on an eternal journey. It will likely outlast everything we've built on Earth, wandering the Milky Way for billions of years. Voyager is a whisper of our existence, a testament that, for a brief moment, a curious species dared to reach for the stars, and that is a story with no end. The cosmic bottle drifts on.